All new at five, meowch. The city of Lorraine has a cat problem. City officials estimate at least 9,000 feral cats roam that city. Believe it or not, it gets worse. It's raising health concerns. And News 5's Tara Molina spent the day talking to people who are trying to find a solution. And Tara, Lorraine is not the only city dealing with this problem. They sure aren't, Frank. I've reported on feral cat frustrations across greater Cleveland. But unlike so many other communities, Lorraine has no official program and no funding in its budget to cover the problem. And that's where this new volunteer group steps in. Lorraine is a litter box. Taking the crap in our yard. For an estimated 9,000 feral or wild cats. And it's cleanup. It's nasty. Destruction. They pee on my plants, you know, that my dad put in here, and then my plants are dead. So I have to dig them out and throw them away. And stench. Even if you're in the house, you smell it all around the house and everything around. It, it's ridiculous. Are just a few of the reasons folks who live here are fed up with it. People need you know, get rid of these cats. We brought concerns to Ward 2 City Councilman Dennis Flores, who said he's working on getting a program together to target the problem. The focus is on reducing the population. Before residents take it into their own hands. You get some of them that are so mad that they're going to, you know, threaten to poison them or I'll take care of this, you know, and it's like, hey, I wouldn't. I'm not suggesting that you do that. They're currently modeling a volunteer program around official trap and neuter or TNR programs in cities like Elyria, where volunteers trap the feral cats, pay $35 to have them spayed or neutered, and then release them. <laughs> Flores told me he's working with some local volunteer leaders who are already doing this and paying for it out of pocket to gather donations while trying to get an official Lorraine nonprofit running. We need volunteers. You know, we, we're, until we can get a grant to sustain the movement, you know, in the group, you know, right now it's up in the air for individuals to do it on their own. Now, Councilman Flores told me today he thinks they're going to need a couple thousand dollars to get the program off the ground officially without these volunteers doing it on their own accord. Right now, they're trying to do that through donations. So I'm going to put some more information about that up on our website, and you'll also find it on our News 5 app. Reporting live in Lorraine County tonight, Tara Molina, News 5.